Hey guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another haul from Miss A. But today's haul is a little bit different. This we have a bag, which is the way I've always purchased online that I got during the Labor Day sale. But then while I was in Houston visiting Bunny, I went to the legit Miss A store. It was like such a thrill to be able to finally go into a store that you've been shopping on for what five years i mean legit every speckle of makeup on me right now from literally everything i'm wearing foundation i'm wearing contour i'm wearing concealer everything on me right now is all miss a i love all their makeup so what i figured I'd do is while i get things kind of like all opened up i'm going to show you some clips that i did around the store and kind of kind of tell you my thoughts about what i thought as I was walking around and purchasing and then maybe we'll do the in-store stuff first and then the other one because I kind of forgot what's in this one <laughs> so you guys sit there and watch and see the little things that I got to see and then we'll move on I was just excited when I saw the sign and saw the doors and everything kind of like sprawled out instead of like looking on the website when you have to sit or literally just like scroll through pages and pages and pages like now it's just all out there for you all the new Halloween stuff they had available. That was pretty cool. Um, sorry if you hear anything that is legitimately the washer going. I am doing two things at once. And look at that. Look at the bath bombs all set up. It looks so much cooler than look at them on the website. I ended up buying one, the dinosaur one. And all their blenders. I mean, everything was just pretty darn cool. I mean, I knew it was my only chance I was probably gonna be able to get to go to there. So I was like, might as well take this chance. I can't wait to show you some of the things I got from there and the things I got in the mail from the Labor Day sale. But yeah, I mean, definitely lots of fun. If you have a chance to be able to stop and go to a Miss A store, I would totally recommend it. It's much easier to shop than looking on the website. Maybe one day they will open up one in Jacksonville. <laughs> Who knows? We shall see. Neat, huh? I mean, I thought that probably might be, unless I go see Buddy again, and yeah, that'll be the kind of like, last time I'll be able to go to one of those places because there's none in Florida or anywhere near me. So, this is a bag it came in. I got a bunch of stuff. Some things I've just like been using a lot. The only thing I'm sad is I don't long, they longer have my pressed powder. I really don't have a lot of pressed powder anymore, so hopefully they're maybe like reformulating it and making a new brand of it because like I have one more left because I bought in bulk. And I hope that they have a new one out by the time I get there. And if you want to check out Miss A and you have not already, the link will be down below. Um, they have lots of things that are just a dollar. There will also be items that are be a dollar eighty eight, a dollar fifty five, I think a dollar thirty three. And those are the ones that will donate to different donations. So for charities of education, women, pets. So it's 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 a, it's a great organization. Um, they're based out of Texas, I think Dallas, Texas. So here is the order from the store. So I did pick up two of these. It's been a while since I got one of these. I've been using other blenders that I've been using for, you know, that I've just gotten as like sub love or this, that, and the other, but I am obsessed with the velour ones. Like obsessed. They do not wash well. So if you're gonna wash them, they won't be as velour-y, but I don't wet them. I know it's like a big faux pas, but I don't wet them. because They're just so soft and like they glide on the skin. They just feel so good. So I got two of those, and I believe that those are like a, either a dollar or a dollar eighty-eight. I think they're a dollar because I don't have any like thing on there. So love those. Then I picked up this. I they might have it on the site, but I haven't seen it. It's by Hair Chemist Limited Collagen and Vitamin Max Volume Shampoo. Now I didn't get this for as my like everyday shampoo. Smells nice. I got this for we'll call it my bang shampoo. So. A lot of times I don't wash my hair, but I'll wash my bangs while I'm in the bathtub. So I have one kind of shampoo that's like got this much left in it. And I don't really care what kind of shampoo it is. I'm just washing my bangs. So it's not that big of a deal. So this is going to take the place of that one and be my new bang shampoo. And it was only a dollar. <laughs> and then this is only a dollar too. Black sesame seed and ginger mask. And it's a large quantity. I'm used to buying their ones that are just in the, like the packages, like the little bags and I use them all the time and I love them um 
But this one I thought what I could do is once I get out of it. Oh, look at that one. I do love a hair mask. I'll usually use a hair mask once or twice. Actually, I really do shampoo my hair like once or twice a week now. So I have been using a mask pretty much every time. But I figure when I'm out of this, I can take the squeeze ones I already have, squeeze them in here. So it's not just this like packet that's open. I can squeeze them in here and just keep reusing and putting a new mask in each time I need to use it. Like I said, I have not used this one before. How long does this stay on? This one says brush through, leave on seven minutes. And even like I have a wet, like a, a comb in my shower and that is also from Miss A. Like they have so many things. And I know when people say like, oh, you don't know the difference. Do you have like a really cool name brand, whatever. But their shadows, they have so many different palettes. Now the palettes they have, the big palettes, their AOA palettes are going to be $10, but totally worth it. So many colors, so much great pigment, not a lot of fallout. So I, I actually wish they would make more of them because I would like to have every single one they have. And I think I have them all now. I also picked up another one of these hair tamers because I love them. I actually didn't even put... They have a fresh shampoo scent. I had to ask for it because I didn't know where it was. <laughs> when we were checking out, I was like, I was like, where? I don't think I saw it. Fresh shampoo. I never had that one. Oh, I like that. I didn't put any on today because my hair's a little bit greasy. But look, literally, you just put it on. Boom, smooth it right out. Sometimes I have to like redo my bang. But it like is magical. It's like a magical product. Especially if you're wearing a ponytail or have, like I do, wear buns all the time. Ooh, I like that scent. Usually I get the peach one. They also have a rose one. Unless they got rid of some of them. I mean, it was different. Like, even seeing, like, all the bath bombs together, which even though I, like, I moved on to some other different types of bath bombs, seeing them all together like that, like, made it look so cool. So I did pick up one bath bomb that I hadn't seen before. And this is a dino, dino egg. And it has a surprise inside. Dino egg. I probably should have bought more than one of these, but I only bought one because I knew I had this order right here that I was just kind of like, it was like one of those, let me just pick up some stuff while I'm here. And then, I don't know, Bunny said that this is a concealer stick. There's two different kind of colors. The brand is BR, concealer corrector stick. I have no clue what this really does. I brought a little white for me to use since I am full-fledged makeup right now. Because I would find it hard for you to use, she said you could use a brush and work with each one of them, but we're just going to see what it looks like, like just straight up down. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to put it on. Okay. <laughs> Let's blend it out of my arm. I couldn't imagine, like, I guess I could use, use, see myself using like little bits, maybe. I don't remember that person. So let's just like blend it out. So you kind of. Maybe can give you like a little bit of a glow. But it came in two different shades. So it was like a light. That was the light one. And then there's a dark one also. Let's grab one of these just so I have it. Comes off pretty nicely too. So that's something different I picked up. Then, I mean, I really do love this, this cleanser. And for me being an esthetician and saying that I like a cleanser, this is probably my favorite out of all of the um skincare they came out with so i do like this it's i like the packaging i like how you can get every last little bit of it out um i like how it's not wasting a whole lot of packaging and i believe that these are a dollar 55 or a dollar 88 but you can get a lot of uses out of it so that's my like go-to kind of when i run out of my conceal my stuff then i picked up another of these ones so i've been using like right now that's what i have on my my foundation I bought the other one they had a long time ago. It was a little bit thicker. And since I'm not used to wearing foundation, I'd rather have it lighter than not so light. So this is the medium, and I have been enjoying it. So this is my backup one. I have I bought the last, first time I bought it, I bought light and medium, and I realized that medium is better for me. So now I'm going to start going through some of my makeup and the things that say light and just be like, you know, even though you bought it, Melissa, just you, you've tried it, it doesn't work for you, you need to move on. Then I bought my favorite. The length mascara. I don't know why I love it so much. Out of the three set, there was like length, curl, and volume. This one was my absolute favorite. I love the silicone bristles. But then I saw this one, which I had not seen before. Big Boss Volume and Length Mascara. So let's see. Can I open it? Oh, 
You know what a wand looks like? Oh, that is a wand. Holy wand, huh? I mean, I wear a mascara on, but... I'll just, like... Magnify it. <laughs> I got it on me. <laughs> and then you just blend that in. Good to go. I mean, doesn't seem bad. I mean, like I said, I already have mascara on. I already have the lens one on. Did it get on me again? So far, so good. And this one is a pawpaw, so it's a give back to um, animals. And they all have, like, you know, non cruelty. And this one's open for, I think, 12 months. You can leave it open. So now I know that I gotta use that one. <laughs> is that it? Oh, then I bought one more thing. <laughs> so. Even though this is coming out after my trip, I bought this for the trip. I had a different, bunch of different ones, which I don't know if they have these on the actual um, website or not. Not because search on the website, like unless you know what you're looking for, I usually just go for new arrivals. But like you could scroll on that site for nine thousand years trying to get back to things that were from a while ago. Oh my gosh! I really want to see what it looks like because. I figured it was really streamlined and small, so it'd be good to just put a few things in, in like my fanny pack, or whatever I'm doing for when I'm in Italy and Greece. So it just says Doritos, Velcro, I mean I feel like you just fit what exactly what you need. Put like one card in here, and this part is zippered, you can put a card in there too so it's a little bit safer. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that. So that's just the stuff that I got at the store. Obviously knowing that I already had an order to come home to. Um, I did see this when I opened it up. It said, oops, one of your purchases was a hot item and it was sold out. So that, I guess they gave me $3 back. And it was the AOA Flawless Liquid Foundation. Because I was wanting to try out some of the new stuff they had that just came out. So here is that order. So the first thing I picked up was this. This must be one of the new things. A lot of times I'll just buy a bunch of the new things. Not knowing if I actually really like, want all of them. But I kind of want to see them and show you them. These are just AOA Studios, and these are just, ah, different little shadow combos. These were $1.55. I mean, they're good if you just need a couple little things if you're going out of town or, like, traveling. These I might not actually keep for myself, because, like I said, I love their palettes, and I love just having a big thing to work with instead of these little tiny things. So these might go into a mystery box or something, but I wanted to show you guys what they look like in person. They're both going to be shimmery. I'm pretty sure they're not highlighters. I'm pretty sure they're... No, it's a dual blush. Blush and highlighter. Just kidding. These are blush and highlighters. Oh. I actually don't have any blush on right now, but I also don't have brush. Let's see. Which one would be my go-to? Probably this one. This is blush. That's a different story. Not eyeshadow. I guess I need to put it all both on at once, and then... I'm looking around like there is a brush somewhere. There isn't. Looks like that. I mean, obviously... That's not bad. So you could do like the highlighter and like bronzer all in one. Obviously much better if I had a brush. I know. You don't need to tell me. A little bit of glow. I'm usually not pro highlighter, but I also wasn't pro contour. And now I'm wearing contour, so <laughs> I really can't say what's what. Then they had this cuticle pusher, double-ended. It was a dollar. So I bought this for myself. Just start pushing back my cuticles. Start being better and clean underneath my cuticles. I mean, underneath my, my nails. This will probably be the one for the nails. Because, like, I feel like I want to clean them at work. I feel like you just get stuff underneath your nails. It's going to be your pusher and that thing, too. So it was a dollar, so I thought it wasn't a bad deal. I guess I forgot I got these. So now I'm set for life. Okay, not life, but quite some time. So now I got two more of the Liquid Shin Root. Actually, I'm probably going to bring one straight one of these just right on the trip with me for my cleanser. That again doesn't take up a lot of room. And it'll last the longevity of the trip. Boom, got those. Next they have pure... Oh, they came out with like feminine wipes. 
So six wipes in a little feminine wipe thing. I'm guessing they're not pre... They've got a Ziploc on the top, so I'm guessing they're not individually done. I kind of want to figure that out, though. See if they are individual wrapped or just out there. Ooh. They are individual wipes. wipes. So these are great for travel, too. Just for, like, freshen up. If you're feeling a little... Especially, like, going on... Which I was going to bring some other ones, but I may bring these. Um, after going on a long excursion, you know, you're all, you just, you get a little unfresh, you know? So, like, things like this going to kind of help you with, like, the deodorizing wipes. This one's more formulated for down there. So you can use those if you feel like it. I bought more deodorizing wipes. I still have some, but I haven't opened them up because I haven't started, like, packing, packing yet. So, nothing's worse when you open up one of your deodorizing packs. From other cruises and you realize you did not shut it all the way which now i know i should probably put it into a plastic bag also but i have these just in case i did not and i messed up and i didn't have it oh so these are the spa gel socks but they look more hardcore than the ones that i've gotten before hold on let me take the thing off ah so the inside is like a silicone and you would put like your lotions or oils or whatever you want on your feet. And unlike the other ones, these do have like a slipper so you can put them on and just not slide on the ground. Polo's over there just like messing with all the plastic from the last video. <laughs> is he playing with any of the toys? No, he's just messing all the plastic. So I got these to probably start helping me out during the winter months. What are you doing with that plastic? Huh? What are you doing with that plastic? Why don't you put all those toys around there? Alright, so these came in here, so I'm guessing they are... They're together, but I got them. They try to keep them safe. This is a cleanser. This is a new cleanser. Dermacare 3D fights blackheads and whiteheads. Which that can happen. To me. For sure. Pretty sure you've seen it in videos. <laughs> I love and hate these little seals. They're great to keep things safe and know they're sanitary, but I stink at getting them off. <laughs> Ooh, so. I get into it, so I stabbed it. <laughs> but here it is right here. I'm going to take a little sniff. Doesn't have any like medicated scents like a lot of the kinds of ones do for blackheads and clearing things. Kind of very natural. All their like stuff really does smell very natural. Yeah. I know you can't smell it, but I'll definitely use that. I'm a like I'm an esthetician that's kind of like whatever works works. If you find something you like, I'm not trying to say like when you go someplace and everybody's like you have to buy every product from our brand. I mean yeah, yes that gives you more money in your pocket, but I mean it's not a big deal to me. Magic ooh the Magic Girl this is like a Magic Girl lip gloss. They also had Magic Girl other stuff. Did I buy is this Magic Girl? No. Let's try this one up first. This is a, a lip oil. And then this is... So let's try the lip oil first. Is this open? This is in the color. I don't know. This is in the color Bloom. So this is Bloom. I like the applicator. Very like soothing. Oh, I like it. It's not like even though it looks this color, it's not actually that color. It's really just subtle. Mmm. They had different colors, I believe. Mmm. It's a good thickness. A good slip. It's a good gloss. <laughs> now let me just quickly take that off and put on. the other one. So here is the Magical Girl. Like I said, it came with other stuff. I don't think I got any more of them. I did get one more thing. I see it right there. <laughs> Just let me in. So how magical are you? 
So I guess I kind of like in the set a little bit too because it's the same kind of applicator. Unless this is like the new applicator they're using. No real scent to it. Good slip and glide. Good shine. I'm a-okay with that too. Let's see we just... Oh, we have a few more items in here. What the else did I get for the... So, Magical Girl Brow Lift Sculpting Gel. I've never used a gel. I've always, my whole entire life, used clear mascara. Like, my whole entire life, clear mascara has been what I used to use my brows. CoverGirl used my favorite. Now I've just tried some other ones and they've been fine. Looks like that when you open it up. And then there's... Oh. That legitimately is like a... Gel. Oh. That's thick. That's thick. Like, you black people nowadays are doing that thing. I don't do it. And I don't know, I think it's a little weird. That brow lamination where they're like sticking their brows up. My whole question is this going to be, I mean, you probably would use a brush for it. Is this going to be like sticky throughout the day? Or is it going to be one of those like, I mean, obviously we'll put it on and probably brush it through. I'm going to leave it on that brow. Let me put on both brows. In case I film another video. <laughs> I'm getting it everywhere. I forget what I buy, so I forget what to bring down here, and sometimes I don't feel like going back up there. <laughs> so we'll leave it on for the rest of the video and see if it stays like sticky and pliable. I'm just gonna kind of brush it on. It definitely has more hold than the clear mascara that I use. What else we got? AOA Dark Brown. Is this another thing for? Dark Brown Fix Gel. <laughs> now I put all this stuff in my brows already and now they got this other thing I bought. That's what happens mostly. You should like really look look and see what you purchase before you start just going wild. Oh. So this would be the Dark Brown. I feel like I need to get real close to you guys. Don't mind me. Hey. I'm gonna look in the camera because... So like the front of my brow and the end of my brow are starting to fade with like the older age type situation. I'm a big fan of the powder. Not a huge fan of any type of liquids or crayons or anything like that. But I don't think it's bad. This would be much easier if I was doing it like, oh god. <laughs> I was doing it like in a mirror. You know, getting oldest for the birds. And if I'm looking for a more like bolder brow, not bad. Okay, I'll probably use that. Polo, what is your obsession with? Plastic. He just wants to chew on that plastic, so. Paula. No? Okay. We got a few more items in here. Hopefully there's not more brow stuff because then I'm up a creek without a paddle. Oil absorbing volcanic face roller. I believe this is more offensive. What are you doing, big boy? Why don't you go play with your actual toys? Volcanic face roller. Is there an informational packet? Durable, reusable. Tells you how to clean it. Doesn't really say how to use it. Give it a pull. Am I greasy? It's a little bit. Is it gonna be something coming off of it? I 
don't know. Probably. I feel like I might need to do this like on a day where I don't have any makeup on or I guess like I'm not super duper greasy right now. But it's not like you're going to see anything on here. It's just like how it feels. You classic loving mofo. <laughs> Definitely different. What does it say to clean? It says three types make it easy to reach, hard to reach areas of the face. Convenient for use on the go. Clean. Remove the lid. Turn left to unlock and remove volcanic stone. Wash stone under warm water. Rinse with clean water. And then reassemble when dry. Might just be a handy thing to have <laughs> on hand. Then we got Lock Creamy Concealer. Oh, so this is the new concealer they came out with. AOA. I love the AOA brand. Let's see if we can get Polo. I don't know how long we will have him. <laughs> Why are you being so obsessed with all the, the, the plastic? You love some plastic, huh? You love some plastic. Wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi. He's like, I don't want to be a star. I just want to eat plastic. And play with plastic. That's what I want to do. Just play with plastic. He's a sweetie, huh? You don't get to hold him that long. Like, then he gets like, ready to go. But he's in the kind of like, mode right now where he's like, like a mommy. And my mommy. Okay, you're done. He's done. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> the good thing is it's crashy when he's done. So this is one of their new concealers. I got it in the color light. I would, I'd rather have it too light than not. But this isn't like the lightest. Light The light wasn't the lightest. Like, like ivory or something was the lightest, the lightest one. I think that would be fine too. But I really am obsessed with the big roller one, the big stick one. That's like my favorite because it does a large amount of coverage in a short period of time. But before I found that one, like liquids are always my favorite because I feel like they didn't cake on you as much. Blends nicely. So I'll use that too. I may use that in certain areas and not use in other areas. So perfectly fine with that. Wasn't there one other item? Yes. And for the final item today, this is the AOA Studio, I don't know, is this another concealer? Fair Ivory, this is 188. I think it's another concealer. Lock Creamy Concealer, let's see. This might be the Flawless Eraser Stick. Yeah. This is the flawless eraser, and the only thing we didn't get was the, the new liquid foundation they came out of. This must be the eraser stick. What are we erasing? What do you want to erase? I already got powder in the over me. I mean, even though like I put concealer on, you can still see, like I have, the dark circles. Like, it's just heredity. It's just my life. <laughs> I lost the top. <laughs> I lost the top, guys. I guess I'll find it later. Let me close that up. So, I mean, obviously after that I would end, then in turn, put more powder on there. But maybe I could just do like a translute of some powder. Just to kind of, brighter, right? Yeah. So like I said before, uh, my link will be down below if you want to check it out. Um, they do, sometimes they'll be doing, like during holidays, they'll do, um, one dollar shipping or 10% off or 20% off or all these type of things. It always seems a lot of times like I'll place an order and then so then the next day they'll be like 20% off your entire order and I'm like ah oh, just missed it. And so if I get the emails I try to post it up there for you so you guys will know if you don't get the emails already when they're doing the deals. But yeah I really don't think anything I tried today was a fail. I'm kind of intrigued with that volcanic thing. Plastic. <laughs> So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below. If you haven't yet subscribed. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.